Do you have a bunch of cords that are all over the place and get all tangled up? Do you have a crazy cat who likes to grab the cords and try to rip them out of the wall? When you're sitting there watching TV, do they annoy you so much? So ugly. So not cute that it makes you want to cry? It's a complete mess. But wait, maybe there's something you can do. Hey guys, it's Crystal. Welcome back to my channel. So today's idea came about when I was just like staring at these ugly cords. I usually keep them like with a little like tie, still ugly because you can see them. And I like things sparkly, so I had some extra of this and I was like, hmm, what can I do with it? So this little project today is going to be making a cord concealer with beautiful sparkles. So it'll just be a nice strip of sparkles instead of these ugly cords. So let's get started on the project. These are some items you will need to use to do this project. So starting off, if you have a bunch of cords, um, it'll be easier for you to do this if you get your little black electrical tape or whatever you have just to keep the cords kind of together. It'd be easier to work with. So here we can get it more and probably just do a couple in the middle. Here. It's already way more manageable. It'll be easier to do the project because now they're doing what I want them to do. Next, we're going to grab our sparkly ribbon and we want to make sure we have enough to go a little up and behind. So measure for a little bit extra. You can always cut it off later. You don't want to fall short, then it'll look ugly and you have to like piece together. Don't want to do that. So leave extra. And then also on the bottom, leave a bunch extra. So what I'm going to do is take some electrical tape and put it on here just to make sure that it stays in place. And then I can remove it later. Taking the tape and pulling them together that and now we are going to be able to sew these together and conceal the cord. So this is just one of the ways I'm going to show you. I'm going to also show you on my um, other TV in my other room which only has two little cords. My goodness. And then my um, sconces next to my bed. Um, I have cords and a little light plug so I'll be able to show you a third option to conceal other cords you do not want to see. Taking my needle and thread I'm just gonna start sewing. This stuff is like a mesh fabric ribbon and I'm just gonna go through the loops. So make the knot like you usually do and then for it to be able to hold on to something, just put your needle through that so it makes a little knot. So now it's nice and sturdy. And then proceed. To sew five million. <laughs> We're gonna fix all this ugliness later. This is just to get it onto the cord so it's a sleeve for the cord and then we will fix it and make it look really pretty after. So don't worry, that is going away. This is just strictly to hold it so you're making a cord concealer. As you can see, I'm putting it through the second hole, not the first one, because I feel it'll make it way more stable. And if you're pulling it tight, it's not gonna rip out in case there's any faulty part of the ribbon. I had to get some new threads, so I'm showing you now up close what that looks like and how to fasten it to itself. So sewing like regular, right before you get to the end, put it through the two pieces of thread, securing it to itself. We're all done with the sewing. We got it all the way down. And now I can take off the tape on the top. It stays by itself, yay. And we are going to turn the seam around so you don't see it. I'm just gonna push. So now to get this all pretty and straight and perfect, we're gonna use 3M double-sided clear tape and stick it down so it's like this really flexible stuff, won't rip the paint off your wall, and I'm just 
just going to get it back here and place the cord exactly where I want it to be. Okay, so way number two, I just have two little cords and we're going to grab our little electrical tape. I'm going to use my little hook. It has sticky stuff on the back. I'm making a little hole in here. And then I'm going to put that on my hook. So it's on the hook like that and it'll be nice and straight. Now I'm just going to take pieces of my 3M. So for this one, we are going to be doing the same like taping technique that we used on the last one, but we are going to be making a hole for the light switch. Okay, so I'm going to put extra up underneath and then right here and I'm going to cut out, I'm going to start with two, let's see how it goes. On those two, I'm going to measure the bottom of the cord so that's right there. So now I have my hole right here and my hole right here, and I'm going to cut up the middle. So now I have a little slit for that. I'm going to tape the first part of it. Perfect spot. Strip. Get up at the edge. We're gonna pull this up just a little bit and slide it behind, and then lay it down. Okay, finishing off last piece, and just wanted to say if you guys use this tape. It has the backing on it and it's impossible to like get off. So if you just kind of like pull, it'll peel off. This is really stretchy. It'll peel off the backing. So you're not gonna go crazy trying to get it off like I was. Trick of the day. Thanks for watching my video. Hopefully this makes your life a little bit prettier, less ugly cords hanging around little bit of sparkles in your life. I'm so happy I got to shoot this video. I did my bedroom TV a while ago and when I thought of the idea and then my living room was still a mess with all those cords everywhere and I was driving me nuts but I didn't have a chance to film it so I've been staring at it for literally months. I have so many half done projects it's not even funny. Um, there is like one ottoman done, one ottoman not done of a uh, other one that's coming soon um, and then I have like a pair of shoes, I'm painting them, painting some sneakers, really gonna be amazing. Um, but I've had one painted and one not forever. And I'm that committed that I don't finish these projects because I wanna film them for you. So I always like to try one, do the other one on camera and make sure it works and I'm not gonna waste my time filming something again. Happened one time, never again. I tried to reupholster a chair and that chair did not wanna be reupholstered. So I can't wait to finish all these projects for you guys. So subscribe, click that little notification bell so you'll get notified every time I upload a video and please comment. I would love to know what you thought of the video and I will see you on the next. Bye.